Today we're going to take a look at a couple of networking tools that should be in every IT bro's toolbox, ping and trace route. Think of how a submarine navigates. It sends out a sound, and that sound hits an object and is echoed back. The sound that is sent back is called a ping. In networking, ping works pretty much the same way, except that instead of a sound, you send a packet of information. This packet of info can be used to determine whether or not a device is responding. Maybe a better way to think about it is like placing a phone call to a friend. When you dial your friend's number, you can determine if they're home by whether or not they respond. Think of a ping in the same way, but replace your friend with a computer, as is often a temptation, and replace the phone with a command prompt. By simply typing ping and then the IP or web address of a device, you can determine whether or not the device is up, online, and responding. You'll get results on how many packets of information were sent back from the address, that is usually shown as an IP address, and it'll also tell you how long it took. When the operation is completed, you'll also be able to see whether any data was lost and some stats on all of the transmissions. So what does it mean when you call a computer and it doesn't respond? Well, it could mean a number of things. Maybe the ping is getting through, but the machine is either off, offline, or configured not to respond to ping requests. However, maybe the ping never made it. This is where Traceroute can help. So let's go back to our phone call example. Say there's a terrible storm. You want to check on your friend to make sure he's okay, but your call isn't going through. What you don't know is that the phone line has been severed. What if instead of just knowing whether or not the call went through, you were able to see exactly how far the call made it? Well, if your friend were a computer, you could, through Traceroute. When you open a command prompt and type TraceRT, or Traceroute for shell, followed by an IP or web address, You'll get a result of every hop the data packet takes between your machine and the device you're trying to connect to. This means if the signal doesn't get through, you can at least figure out how far it made it and start problem solving from there. So what have we learned today? First, ping and trace route can be great ways of troubleshooting whether a device is reachable, and if not, where a connection issue might lie. We've also learned that if your friends aren't answering your calls, you can always just open a command prompt and call a computer. 